not long before the opening day of trout season. The two fellows behind me don't know it yet, but one of them is about to be covered by a massive slide. He'll die a painful death just shortly before rescue workers can get to him. What makes this tragedy so hard to accept is the fact that it could have been prevented. Had these truckers followed standardized and common sense safety practice of staying in their truck while being loaded and by avoiding the hazards posed by slides of material and mobile equipment, this could have been prevented. Yeah, you'll never outfish me, buddy. Yeah, right. Well, come Monday, you'll see which one of us has the biggest fish. Sure, we'll see. Okay. Hey, I gotta go. He's waiting to load me. Based on accident statistics, mining is one of the most dangerous jobs there is. Federal regulations enforced by the Mine Safety and Health Administration, MSHA, require all contract workers performing work on mine sites to receive hazard training. This training is meant to familiarize you with the major hazards you may encounter and the safety precautions you should follow to avoid injuries. When visiting a mine or quarry for the first time, immediately report to the office or scale house to receive your hazard training. It's important to receive your training at each facility that you visit because each site, although they may appear the same, has its own unique hazards and safety rules. Prepare for the unexpected. Know the location of first aid equipment, the emergency response systems, and the proper use of them. In an emergency, time is not on your side. Mobile equipment accidents are the leading cause of fatalities in the surface mining industry. Follow the posted speed limit and watch for signs indicating traffic patterns, such as railroad crossings, left-hand driving, low clearances, etc. Blasting in restricted areas are also common at mining facilities. Become acquainted with the signals and take cover procedures of the company you visit. Remember, fly rock can travel great distances and hit objects at phenomenal force. Distance alone is not a precaution. You must take cover. Ground conditions, such as those posed by stockpiles, bins, high walls, and water accumulations can threaten your safety. 
As a part of your hazard training, you should be advised of the locations and nature of these particular hazards and follow all company directives when in the area that they exist. Approach loading areas with caution. Make eye contact with the front end loader operator. You may think he sees you, but the front end loaders travel in reverse nearly 50% of the time. As a customer delivery driver, the safest place for you is in the cab of your truck. If you do get out of your cab, especially in loading or high traffic areas, you run the risk of injury or death. Each year, pedestrians are accidentally run over by mobile equipment because they thought the operators saw them. Do not walk between or alongside mobile equipment without notifying other operators. While waiting to be loaded or while in the process of unloading, be careful about congregating with other drivers and not paying attention to the activity around you. Never ride or ask for a ride on a piece of mining equipment that is not intended for passengers. The minimum personal protective equipment one must wear when outside your vehicle is a non-metal hard hat to protect your head and approved safety glasses to protect the eyes and safety shoes to protect the feet. Many drivers carry gloves to protect their hands and there are times when you should wear respirators, fall protection equipment, and earplugs or muffs. Whenever work needs to be done inside the bed of your truck, do it before entering the loading area. It is a good practice to let others know you are entering your bed. Some drivers have been buried alive doing work in their truck beds. Precautions are also necessary before doing work under an unsecured raised truck bed. Many trucks have safety mechanisms that keep a raised bed from unexpectedly falling on a person. Use them. Recognize also the hazard of overhead power lines when raising truck beds. MSHA requires all parts of equipment to stay at least 10 feet away from overhead electric lines. Look up and be aware of your surroundings. Suspended loads are defined as any object hanging or held up that is not firmly supported from below. Stay clear of suspended loads. Slips, trips, and falls is another hazard you may encounter at a mining facility. One of the most dangerous acts you can perform is to climb on your truck while being loaded. Stray material, loading shock, and the loader buckets are all things you cannot control, yet present hazards to your ability to maintain balance. Tarping, leveling your load, and truck bed maintenance may require you to climb on your truck. Perform these duties away from the loading area. Hopefully, the mining facility will have predetermined area for these work tasks. Whenever climbing, maintain three points of contact at all times. Next to overexertion injuries, slips, trips, and falls are the mining industry's biggest problem. The mining industry is an important part of America's economy, and you are a vital part of its continued success. While there are no guarantees that familiarizing yourself with mine hazards, taking all reasonable precautions to avoid injury, and obeying the safety rules will ensure your safety, following the suggestions presented in this video will increase the likelihood that you will enjoy a productive, injury-free career.